filled the New York sky, marking the spot where the Twin Towers once stood. During Saturday's Ground Zero ceremony on the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, there was silence and remembrance. I remember this day as if it was yesterday. My cousin, Brian Christopher. Dad, we miss you every day. Our greatest gifts are your beautiful grandchildren. Bells tolled at the exact times tragedy struck on that sunny Tuesday morning two decades ago. Former Presidents Obama and Clinton joined President Biden at the memorial in Lower Manhattan. Retired New York City fireman Kevin Kelly lost several friends and colleagues on 9-11. It's easy for, for somebody who wasn't down there, who wasn't, didn't experience it, to just remember it one day a year. For me, it's every day. The number of victims from September 11th continues to grow. It's estimated more people have died from 9-11 related illnesses than the nearly 3,000 people who were killed on the day of the attacks. The president and first lady laid a wreath in Shanksville, where the passengers and crew of Flight 93 fought back against the hijackers. Former President George W. Bush spoke at the ceremony. These Americans were brave, strong, and united in ways that shocked the terrorists, but should not surprise any of us. This is the nation we know. At sunrise, a flag unfurled at the Pentagon, and President Biden made it his last stop of the day. Taps sounded there and closed out the ceremony at Ground Zero. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.